Okay, so here's a detail which is uh, in progress. It's basically all the components have been put in other than the fixings, and I'm just going to uh, insert some fixings. So let's have a look. We've got fixing symbolics, and this is where I generally start with. So I'll just draw the symbolic fixing from what we are trying to fix through. So if we have a look at this, it's a line base, it's got dots at the beginning and the end, which is where we want the fixing to go to. Uh, where else do we need it? Obviously we need some there. Um, I know that I want to show where the, the nails are going in here. And this, this side here. And I think, yep, we'll just throw one up here as well. So the process is, is we know that they're fixing through here. The symbolic one just has a very symbolic look, a line with a dot and a dot at the end. And as we go through it, we can change how we want it to be. So I'm just going to grab those and let's just say these are going to be some sort of anchor bolts. Go um, hexagonal head. As you can see, it's just changed it from the symbolic to that, where these two lines are still where we want them to be. Um, and you can just push and pull how much you want that to go in, or of course you can enter it in, enter it in here. But actually, they're not going to be bolt inserts. They're actually going to be. Uh, um, hot bolts. So let's just change them in. Let's change the size and 12. And of course, a hot bolt works a little bit differently. Let's just push and pull it graphically so it looks right. Very simple when it's line based to manipulate. That's the trick. Than that here, and we can just pull it, pull it in graphically, it looks a bit nicer. And what else is. Oh, yes, I know that these will. These washer sizes, let's just um, turn the auto washer size off and say they're 50 mil. Nice big thick washers, so timber's not going to pull through. Okay, so we've done those two. What else have we got? Okay, we've got some nails up here. I'm just going to grab those, change them to a nail. Let's have a look. As you can see, that's actually a jolt head one. I'll just turn that off. Now it's a flat head. Just pull it in. Notice as we pull the nail and it gets thinner and bigger. The um, depending on the length, just a symbolic thickness. And we want to change that one as well. Of course, if I want them to be the same, I can just. Um, yeah, you know, enter in the link here if I wanted to. Um, okay, so what else have we got? Ah, we've got one last one here. What shall we do with this one? Let's just make it a button head, I think. So that's nice. Goes through here like that. That's very nice. So. That's sort of working quite nicely. Um, actually, I'll put a dimension on this. Um, except, will this work? We've got a uh, no dead. The screw is like the nails; it decreases and increases in size depending on. Uh, the length of it, just a symbolic, and it needs a. Oh, hang on. I don't want it to be a countersink, I want it to be a round head, and I want a washer on it. So there's our nice little screw. Uh, what else do we want to do? Uh, tag, multi category tag on our detail components. Let's just grab that. So that there is a type based component. That there is a type comment. If we have a look at this and the edit type, 
type comments, that's what that reads. And we, have, we can also put a specific comment on just for this one instance of bolt. So we might just go um, bed into concrete um, as the engineer's drawings. Okay, and that's it.